So this is Myers and Florence. Sure enough, they had a small little liquor store and a very lively lady was working there by the name of Cindy. She had jokes for days, told me kids these days can't handle cask strength stuff. She had Larceny Barrel Proof, which I snagged one. And they had Meyer store picks of Jack Daniels Rye and Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, which looked awesome. Cindy told me that she's really cool with the distributor that really kind of hooks her up. So I'm going to keep checking in with her. And if you ever come by, tell her I said hi. So we're doing a fireball barrel pick for the Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys definitely don't want to miss this. Limit one per customer. Even though I love this stuff, Costco is way optimistic about the sales here. Same with the Basil Hayden stuff. This Angel's Envy Rise seems to be coming down in price. Oh, and while you're at Costco, you gotta get this stuff. It works for real. Drink this in between the pours and the next morning you'll be cool. So this place had a little uh, tasting room inside, but they're kind of rip-off prices if you think about it. Everything is sold in um, half an ounce, so it would be $200 to get a two ounce pour of George T. Stag. I know a place in LA that would sell two ounce for 30 bucks. Here we go with the point system again. For some bottles, you gotta drop 2,500. All right, so this place had a lot, but everything was super expensive. There's no way to sugarcoat it. So apparently New Riff sells Rye Mash White Dog that's been cut down to 90 proof. Oh look, a sale on something we tripled the price on. I will say I did really enjoy Knob Creek 18 when I tried it. This place was kind of a dud. So this is a cool shelf. This is all their store picks. First time trying Uncle Nearest 1856, actually pretty good, tastes like Jack Daniels. This triple cask is kind of interesting, only issue is the proof seems kind of low. Damn these look good, maybe we should start checking out rum. Seems like way less competition for the good stuff. And 
last stop was New Riff. They didn't have anything crazy in the gift shop, but I do love their little tasting room, how you can try different barrels of the same bottle type. 